Well, guys, we finally got the rest of the big tree out, the old ladder tree. Uh, remember last year we took the top out of the woods and took it down to the property. And now we've drugged this big tree out of here, and this thing is huge. And this is only the base of what we've already got, right? Yes, this is the bottom part of what we already got. We've got another 30 feet of it at the, up at the, uh, by the pump house there. And I've got flowers on it and got it all decorated up, but now where are we putting this Ooh, one? Oh, this thing here. This thing here is probably, what, 40 feet long? It's long. I mean, it's just solid, fat pine. I mean, very... I mean, from the root bowl, there's no roots on it, of course. Oh, no, no. I pulled that thing up out of the ground, finally. And there's no roots, so it pulled up pretty easy. I mean, not easy, Not easy, but, no. But. And then it's got its little where all the limbs were starting, what, at about uh, 10, about, 15 feet? Yeah, it was about 10 feet up it, yeah. The limbs and started. then it goes on and on and on and on. And how, how, that's what? About 40 foot, it looks like. And the other one's about 25 or so? 25, 30 feet, yeah. Wow. That tree's a good 70, 80 feet tall. I mean, It'd be it, nice to dig a hole and stick it back in. Ooh, I don't know. You'd have to have a giant traco to pick that thing up. But it's doable. It'd take a heck of a hole, too. It'd have to be deep. You could bury it to right in there somewhere. You'd have to bury it to that first knot sticking out And there. then have the rest sticking up. That would be cool. Yeah. So another project. we got to figure out what to do with this one. Oh, man. This is a big one. You going to go show me what you've been doing? Yeah. I've been busting my tail today. Well, I started pushing me a new fence row down through the woods here. We've got it all opened up and clean now. We're going to be putting a new fence through here. Um, now, this is at the front of our property, and yeah. there's, this is where we put the first gate. So it's going to go across the front part of our property. There's yeah. an old fence you can see. Yeah, I moved in about 10 feet from the old fence. I just didn't want to have to push all that old fence up and everything right now i mean i will eventually in the future but i'm gonna put a new fence over about 10 feet because them trees now you're looking at down in yonder is about two feet in diameter or larger there are some big i mean those big old trees. trees isn't that beautiful i mean they're just they don't tell how tall they are i don't know how tall they even go but they go way, they go way up, up there, up there. <laughs> I mean, it was clean underneath them, and I was like, okay, I can push this front part out and get around through there and knock up a bunch of just weeds that was up under them, bushes. And uh, it left me a good clean area through there to uh, put a fence up with a, with a minimal amount of effort, you know. So you got all the way to our corner? All the way to that corner right up yonder, and we're going to come in from another direction now. Pull on. We just came from them old big oaks you was looking at you're looking at them from another direction now from uh, the back side yeah some things they i don't even know how tall they're 100 feet up you know i guess i mean you don't usually see oak trees to get that tall but they they do. tall they're ancient trees and uh but i finally got this was nothing but vines and just bushes and that old like big that right there and the old big ladder tree was laying in here and there's an old ladder fence post right there to your right yeah and some uh, more fence posts. They had wire wrapped all around. I just pushed all it over to the side so I could get some wire cutters and cut the wire off of that lighter post right and pull it up out of the but ground. But you see all the vines? That, that's just, that ain't nothing but vines. Just, and they're so thick in there until it took me an hour and a half for two hours just to push this little place right here. It was so thick. And there's some over there you got pushed up. Yeah. So you've got it where we can go all the way through with yeah. our fence. Yes. And our front will be totally this, this front corner will be fenced uh, up to the neighbor's fence now i'll have to check the, the neighbor's neighbor fence. has a fence on the other side of that junk yeah there's a, there's, he has <laughs> the a, junk's ours <laughs> yeah the junk belongs to us uh his his side's clean uh but i gotta walk now i'm gonna have to ask him can i walk on his side 
and walk down and make sure the fence is okay and so that when we get ready to move cows over in here we're trying to create another paddock is what we're trying to do so that we don't have to uh, we'll show you what the rest of the paddock looks like yeah uh, there you're looking at is actually another cedar tree i pushed up and a, a dead one uh the tree itself is still good i checked it it's solid as a dollar but the stump was rotted off in the ground and thank goodness it pushed up really really easy those trees I was telling you about I can reach six foot in my arms I can't even see my other hand around the other side I can't even see it <laughs> and I can reach six feet so um, I don't know how big that tree is but man that's a that's a fine fine tree and this one here is probably you can reach around that one this one uh, is about five foot in diameter yeah and so we're the, coming from that corner post behind you. Yep, we're coming from that corner post all the way to right here where we're standing. And, and we're going to go going back to that corner to post. That, no, not to the post, but to that pink uh, orange ribbon right there. Oh, that's right, the pink ribbon. Yeah, the other, the neighbor's corner's off just a little bit right yonder. It's kind there's of. There's a pink ribbon there. There's right a pink ribbon, there. and then there's another one right behind it back yonder. So we're good there. Yeah, we're good there. So that'll give us our fence. And a, this right here will just stay as is. Yeah, it's is a buffer a, for the road. Yeah, this is a buffer from the road. Now, there's a there's a giant red oak in there that's about four foot in diameter or five foot mm -hmm. in diameter. That thing it's is huge. Just, and a cedar right beside it. There's cedars all around it. The original landowner didn't want people looking into the property, so he planted cedar trees all up under that oak tree in yonder to block the view of looking into the property. Of course... When Katrina come through, it blowed down everything in here. That's why it's thick and vines, because of all that big old pine we just pulled out of here. Katrina blew all that down. Uh, I'm, I'm the first one in here since 2005 to actually do anything. And you can see the vines here. These things, like this right here, there. That's a grapevine, isn't yep, it? Yep, that's some old muscadine vines. They're in here. I mean, that's that's all you see growing up in these trees up here. Them and fox grapes. Now, there's fox grapes up there also. This vine right here, this is a fox grape right here. It has a different kind of bark on it. This is a muscadine right here. These, these are two different types of bark on them. Uh, and that tree up in yonder, that's all you got is muscadines and fox grapes up yonder. And you can see the vines going up there. And they go out into all these trees out in here. And it's just, uh, it is one big mess. Now, you know what? I'm wondering, is that a mulberry down yonder on the neighbor's property? I don't know. Actually, we didn't realize it, but we've been right here at the front of our property. Right in the corner of the neighbor's field right here is a giant mulberry tree. And that thing's still got mulberries hanging all over it. Ain't that amazing? I had no clue it was even here. We have a bunch of grass out here that we was keeping it mowed, but we decided to, uh, this is one of the entrances we have here. We have several entrances to the property. And these it's got lots of little nooks up in these woods, and the cows could be eating this grass down instead of us having to mow it. So we're, we're putting all this into paddocks. As you see right here, where we're at right here, this was originally an old fence right here. It went down through here and came across where we're, the ranger's sitting at here. And then on the other side, there's all these nooks up in the woods and there's pecan trees in all these nooks. And we just lots decided- Lots of grass. Lots of grass. I mean, why should we mow it if we can fence this off and let the cows just eat it? lots of green grass out here right now and you can see it's it's up to above my knees out here so um, this would be really really good for the cows to have to eat on 
And the wind cooperated. Yeah, the wind's cooperating today. It's working with my video, isn't yeah. it? This paddock just keeps going down here. It's, we're probably, it's probably uh, not quite a quarter of a mile long, but it's uh, not going to be far from being a quarter of a mile long paddock. With all this pretty grass and all the trees for the cows to get up under. Of course, there's pecan trees all over it too. So. And we're going to come behind yeah. that, that wood line there, yeah, meet the neighbor's fence in there. We'll drive around there and show you that. Isn't that grass pretty? And it's grass. deep. It's ready for some cows. Yep. Okay, this is the field. Looking at it from down by the wood line where Ms. Wanda told you that we were going to be going behind. We're going to come this from... This will actually tie into the other fence that we have up there that where the cows is at now. And it will extend this paddock way on down. And if we're going to go into the woods right over here is uh, where the neighbors fence line corners up there. He doesn't have much land, but um, It'll go on the back side of these trees to yeah, right in that see, open there's an space. there's open space right up in yonder. It'll go up into there. There's a corner right up in here. And I'll come off it and come across this field out here and then turn and run back up to this fence up here. That's very minimal fencing for us in order to to have a really long, long paddock, you know. And it keeps us from having to mow. And that's not all of it. If you turn around and look to the right right here. This our, is the next fence. This is where the next one. Our, fence, our land just keeps on going way on back here. It just keeps going and going. All the way back way, to those trees in the very and back. Actually, there's a pond back there. Miss Wanda hasn't seen it since it's... Uh, I hadn't seen it in a while. Hadn't seen it in a while. So we're going to take a ride back there. It's a, uh, but this is the next paddock. Yes, this will be the next one. But with this one, we've got a fence from here all the we way down because there's all, no fence we have on fence behind all that. four sides of this one. Yeah, so this one's going to be a, a chore. This will be a down the road one. <laughs> but look at that sky. Nice fluffy clouds today. Yeah. They're not chemtrail. They're not chemtrailing us today. And plus, it didn't rain like they said it was going to. So this will be our next paddock, and and I've been mowing this because you see what's them called bull, bull thistles? thistles are out there by the hundreds. I don't know if y'all can see them, but we've got we've got a lot of them out here. I was going along with a shovel chopping them off, and then Miss Wanda, I thought there's so many. I thought I said, look, just this run over one field long, had though. too many, and I mowed them down, and there's still some popped up. So it, yeah. it's got to be mowed again. It's got to be mowed before they actually mature. And hopefully by the time we get this fenced in. We'll have them under control. We'll have them under control now, and the cows can this pasture, them. all this you see back in here, this is all uh, um, yopons. There's yo All that's got to be pushed. i got to push all this yopon out of here. There's pecan trees, pine trees, and all that mixed in with all these yopons back in there. You can see I knocked over some over here already. And uh, just I have to push them up, take the grapple, get them out of here so that the grass has time to grow. Now we've done, already done this field a year ago and got it opened up. Yeah, you opened a lot of this up I opened up a lot already. of this one up already. The dam. Yes, we're on the dam here. And it is very grown up. It's, oh, it's grown up really, really bad. Um, but look at this old, I call it a dead pond back in here. It's back in the woods here. This thing, uh, talking about a, a serene place to come. You hear the frogs and. Also, it's a snaky place. It's a very snaky place, yeah. It's very peaceful if you watch what you're doing and where you're sitting and yeah. you don't sit in an ant bed and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah the I'm, dam I'm, keeps going right on down through the woods down here. I haven't got it, all the top of it cleaned off yet. 
I'm making uh, the serene place into a horror film. Well, but you have to watch for snakes. Yeah, you and have you to have watch to watch for, for fire ants. That's the two biggest thing, and poison. Yeah, poison I'm a poison ivy. freak, and uh, uh, I haven't seen any right here around us. That ain't it right there. Uh, yep, yep, yep. Right yep, there. Yep, yep, yep. Right there. It's got like what three leaves? Uh, some of them got three. Some of them got five. One of them's poison. One of them's not. So I mean, uh, well, I stay away from both of them. Yeah, but we have a, a traco coming. When this thing dries up this summer, we're going to bring a track hoe in here and we're going to take out all these popcorn trees that's growing all up in here because it actually, uh, the forestry service is trying to get everybody to take these off of the properties because they've become an invasive uh, species now. And that would leave us with the little island out yep. there with what, an oak tree? No, no, that's a popcorn tree on it. Is that a popcorn that's tree a on popcorn it? popcorn tree and pine, one pine standing Look how on. big it is. I know, that's what I'm talking about. It's the granddaddy of all these trees in here. All these babies, all of yep. them going to come out All then. these have got to come out of here, and we're going to clean it up all around the edges. I hate that because that's a pretty tree. Well, it is what it is. But yeah, I don't want a popcorn. No, we don't want Because we'd just have this again. Yeah, so we'll we'll get him to clean up everything he can around these edges and... uh Take up all this uh, dead stuff. I mean, you take like, but you know, when you see the dead stuff, you got a you got a, a bird hole right there in that tree. A little woodpecker living in that little dead tree right there. He's got him a little home right there. So we won't take that one out. Well, not right now, but by the time but by late, the time he comes, it'll be oh, probably it, fail. It'll be fail down by because then, see, yeah. there's one right. All these have fallen down in here. Right there. Yeah. And see, it's almost both of them are in bad shape so they will fall before yeah. it's long well, we'll get it all cleaned out and then maybe next time uh this thing gets water in it it'll actually hold some water yeah right. it, it don't hold but just a few weeks two or three weeks but now you gotta you know this has been full now since uh, about a month about a month yeah and it hasn't went down no That's usually it comes it. in and goes down yeah, comes in and goes this down. year it has not went down be so, my luck, this will be the one year it won't go down. It'll stay and we it'll can't stay get the popcorn. It'll stay and I can't get the popcorns out of here. Well, if they stay unsubmerged under water, they may die. Well, we'll see. Yeah, that'd be the one thing. These woods are so thick back through here with pine timber. I, I was going to take the tractor and just push me a path back around through there to get to the back fence, but the trees are so close together, a tractor won't fit between them. So that was out of the question. back down at our food plot here and uh the condo is up in the woods up in yonder the old pickup truck is down right below it right there and this is the food plot guys the deer have not uh i guess they got a lot of a lot of else to eat this grass is like two foot deep out here and uh we're probably gonna end up cutting it for the cows i can't it's too far back in the woods to try to get cows back here and be best for me to come down here with my cutter and just cut this and we'll rake it and uh, just take it to the cows I imagine. food plot number two now this food plot is not as deep with grass as the other one was this one was planted a lot later 
but it's still got a it's, good. It's got a good stand of grass. It's just not gone to seed yet, like the other one has. Uh, the other it goes one, around the corner a little bit. Yeah, it turns, goes around the corner. Actually, I have a road pushed way back in the woods back in yonder where you can actually go on way back there. But don't you uh, like our tree? I love that old poplar tree. That was a that's a Katrina special right there. It leaned it over. Well, guys, this is our pecan orchard that we had pushed. I've got it planted in grass for the cows. You can see. The wind's cooperating today. I know, the wind. Look how deep it is on me, though. That's how deep the grass is, up to here. Up there. Almost three feet deep. Ain't that awesome? When, when there's clover in amongst this, you can see the red clover. Once the red clover tops turn to seeds, we're going to come through here with the sickle bar, and we're going to cut this whole field, and then we'll bring... Uh, the hay rake in and rake it. Then we'll put the baler in here and we're gonna bale it. And uh, that way we'll have good grass for the cows to be able to have some hay. Uh, that out there is probably over three feet deep out there. The pecan trees has really benefited from us uh, clearing this out like this. And you can see I've fertilized it, I've limed it. And the clover's putting the nitrogen back into the soil. It's uh. It's just some really, really good, really, really good. I'm excited to have this kind of, kind of hay. I hate to mash it down. That's why I'm taking big steps. Uh, then I look out in here and I see, I see these little limbs like this that fell down out of the trees. I'm gonna have to walk the whole field before I actually put the sickle bar in here and cut it to make sure there's no limbs or anything. Isn't that clover beautiful? Mixed in with this dark green hay. This year's bumper crop for everything. Isn't that beautiful? A whole field. Hay with red clover mixed in with it. The hay is deeper than the than the clover is. A lot of it down in yonder. Look at this. Isn't that beautiful? You can get to bale hay again. Yeah, we're gonna bale all this. And the pond is looking amazing. Oh yeah, we've been feeding the fish. Catfish are just, I mean, they're by, by the thousands in there. Our willow tree actually did good at the head of the pond there. Yeah, it took off, didn't it? Yep. Look at that. I could sit out here and watch the wind blow this grass all day long. It's relaxing. It is relaxing. where they get amber waves of grain, only this is grass.
That grass like four foot deep right there. Well, won't be long till we'll be uh, bailing hay. And uh, nothing more peaceful than to come down to the pond here and to throw the feed. I, I was going to bring feed with me, but I forgot. And just throw it out. Let y'all watch the fish just boil. I mean, they come up like, look like, the, look like the pond's boiling. We'll do that another day. We'll do that another day, I reckon. But, uh, I hope y'all have enjoyed showing you the paddock with all the new you know, new proposals here at Pecan Grove, the new plans, and show you where our hay is at. Usually it's first week or two in May when we cut hay, so probably not that far off. It's just that it just seems like it's early to me. It's our first time to cut, well last year was our first time to cut hay, yeah. so it was an experiment. Yeah, that was actually... Uh, trash hay that we cut just from just a weed grass growing on the property this this hay has been planted and fertilized and everything so um hopefully we'll get a you know we'll get a decent harvest off of it this year and and it's it's a rye grass it's a type of rye and i'm hoping i've never bailed rye grass i told miss wanda i said we're gonna have to buy a moisture meter so that i can tell uh, because it's so loaded with water, I'm gonna have to be able to, you know, I want to be able to tell that it's it's safe to stack it, you know, inside the building. So uh, that's where we're at, guys. Um, I hope you've enjoyed the journey here at Pecan Grove. And if you have, continue to watch. Hit that like button. Hit the notification button because we got several more videos coming up. I think you're gonna really enjoy in the future. Thank you, guys, from Pecan Grove.